let's 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 turn to the to politics of the day for a moment. Thomas Sowell on Donald Trump, quote, what is remarkable is that after six years of repeated disasters under a glib egomaniac in the White House, so many potential voters are turning to another glib egomaniac to be his successor, close quote. Oh, come on. Aren't you being a little hard on both Barack Obama and Donald Trump? No, I, th I thought I was pulling my punches. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump is simply not suited to be president? I think that that's true as an understatement. <laughs> All right. Barack Nor is the current president. I was going to say, Barack Obama is the president. Yes. Glib ego mean, how bad has he been? Who, where, where does Barack Obama rank in your mind, you who know so much history, among the worst American presidents? He has displaced Jimmy Carter from that position. The worst? The worst. Worse than James Buchanan? Yes. Worse than Richard Nixon? Yes. All right. Richard Nixon did not, after all, put us in danger of, of nuclear attacks, probably when the lifetime of people living today. The Iran deal will do that. Yes. All right. we're, we're, we're committed to stopping the Israelis from stopping the Iranians from getting a nuclear weapon. That's part of the deal. When I interviewed George Gilder about six or seven months ago, George Gilder known to both of us, he contended that with the right policies, the economy, coming back to the international scene in a moment, but the economy would actually turn around quite quickly. The American economy can be revived quite quickly, cut taxes, peel back regulation, and you'd see another version of the early 1980s. Mm -hmm. You agree? Yes. All we have to do is get out of the way in a certain sense. Yes, I mean, uh, uh, there was, there was uh, when, when Warren Harding took office in 1921, the uh, unemployment rate was around 12 percent. Warren Harding did absolutely nothing. As the, as the uh, government's revenue fell because of the, uh, of the, the uh, downturn, he cut government spending. Now, but now both those things are things that the, drive the Keynesians crazy. Right. The following year, unemployment had fallen to about half that level. Within a year? Yes. And then a year after that, it fell yet again. Uh, you know, there is a history. Uh, it, it, the first time the federal government intervened in the economy to get us out of a, of a uh, downturn was in 1930. Now, which means that for more than 150 years, the federal government just stood by and twiddled their thumbs while the economy recovered on its own. And all that time, there was never a depression as bad as the 1930s depression, where there was all kinds of, of intervention, beginning with Herbert Hoover helping help us, uh, and then amplified by Franklin D. Roosevelt. So in terms of you looking at the, what happened as a matter of fact, uh, again, there was, no, there was no Federal Reserve prior to 1914. Uh, the, the Federal Reserve was created in order to, one, cut back, cut back on bank failures, uh, reduce uh, inflation and prevent deflation. All of those things reached historic highs never seen before under the Federal Reserve. So uh, the, 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 the idea was wonderful. It's only the reality that didn't cooperate. 